Hey everybody, Jem from the Goder Guild. So today I'm going to be talking about fishing. To actually celebrate the fact that opening day and my stay for fishing is just a couple days from now. So let's talk about Revelation and how to fish. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the fishing shop. And if I bring up the map, uh, let's see, you'll see that I'm over here down at the shore in Eventide Bay. So, you know, right down here in the south. And then, yep, here is the fishing shop and advanced fishing shop. So when you're first starting out, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to buy this novice fishing set. So this is going to give you a novice fishing pole, a fishing hook, a, uh, a float, and then some bait. And so what you're going to want to do is right-click all of those in your inventory to get it all set up. And now me, I've actually advanced a little bit. I'm beyond those fishing poles. So I have a, let's see. Go. So I have a titanium pole that's a level 6, and then a hook that's a level 3, a bobber that's a level 4, etc. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to slowly level up your fishing skills and then come back to this guy and use the best fishing equipment you can. So if you look, you're going to see that the fishing pole gives you your distance, how far you can cast. So this one has a 7, uh, the next upgrade of one is an 8, the one I'm on has a 10. And then when you go to the advanced fishing merchant, he has some really good poles that are going to go, you know, 12, 15, 20. So this is your overall cast. Your fishing hook is your, um, your uh, oculation. So that's your ability to catch fish. So the, basically the better the fishing hook, the better. And um, it also helps you to catch the fish when you're trying to catch higher level fish so they don't escape. Uh, your bobber, now that's your sensitivity. So that gives you longer time from when the fish starts to bite to when you lose it. So this is, again, something you want to upgrade as soon as you can every level. And finally, your bait is attraction. And I think this is how quickly a fish will come, because I've been able to catch some of the higher level fish with the ragworms and the red worms. You basically, you want to use the highest level of all of this stuff that you can. All right, so there's, there's two philosophies on fishing. There's first the, the auto fishermen. So these are the people that you see in the hot springs, auto fishing, just, you know, casting away. And they're, they're doing this just to raise their social XP. They're not trying to make any money. They're not trying to do anything other than just level up. And to me, that's the least efficient way to do this. You don't get, uh, you know, rarely any good fishing materials from it. You're, you level up pretty slowly, especially your uh, fishing XP is... It's very slow when you do it that way. So I don't suggest that unless you just have no plans for crafting, but you want to level up your crafting book and just, like, you know, use your points to AFK fish. That's certainly something you can do. Now, if you don't want to do that, what you can do is you can actually fish in these little puddles right here, and you'll find them all along bodies of water. This coast right here, Eventide, is really good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to bring up the map. So when you level up a little bit, you'll find that uh, in here, in Sulan, you'll have some higher level fish. And then when you're ready to move on past that, you want to head up to Snow Pine and this river area right here. This is where you're going to find even higher level fish. So like the Snow Pine area has fish, say level 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20. So once you've gotten your fishing up, you can head over there. And then for the really high level fish... You want to go over here in this region, over by Fort Whetstone. So that's kind of the order of operations for, for where you want to fish. And I've found that what you want to do is you want to catch the highest level fish you can for the level of gear you have so that you're getting the most XP. So if I go back to my fishing menu, and this is V for crafting, and then this... Uh, fifth tab right here you'll see I'm level seven and each of these fish have a level just like all the regular gathering materials so sardines are uh, basically a crab fish and then silver eel is a level two clownfish is a level four and then you know pond sprites is is kind of a crab fish for catching but worth quite a bit and these are in the hot springs all the way to the back so if you ever want to try to make a little money fishing you definitely wouldn't want to catch these guys while you're leveling up then you'll see like Bellfish is level 6, then uh, Koha Kukoi is level 8, and then Cuttlefish, etc. Up and up and up. So I'm level 7, but I'm able to catch fish up through Sagefish. And Sagefish is kind of tough for me because it's a level 12. 
but most of the time I can catch it and you'll find the higher up you go the better the XP so let me catch one of these koi and so how you're gonna do it is you're gonna go to your inventory and then you right click on your bait and that's gonna set you into fishing mode so quick fish this is your uh, AFK auto fishing and again you're you're not gonna control your casting distance it's it's gonna usually catch you pretty base level fish so not bad to do when you're first starting off I guess but I still suggest going to these puddles right here so anyways let me pull it up so now I'm starting to fish so I cast 10 meters, so I like to stand, uh, you know, roughly 10 away. And so you're going to have a meter. You hold down F and you let it go and you're ready to cast. So you'll see I got it inside the circle. When you're inside the circle, you'll catch that fish. If you're outside, you'll catch whatever fish happen to be around. They're usually not as good. So when you hear a little splash and you see the little arrow above the F, that's when you push F again to catch the fish. And you'll see I got 50 fishing ex expertise. So going to V and looking at my level... I need 21,000 to get through level 7. So that's actually quite a bit. That's going to be, uh, you know, a ton of fish that I'm going to have to catch. So would be uh, 420. So I need, a, I need a ton of fish if I want to level up. And uh, so what I've done is I've gone and just keep catching the highest level fish that you can catch. So for me, that's the sage fish. And what's neat is the higher up you get, the actual, the actual mini game changes a little bit. So I, I don't have a sage fish right now, but uh, if I were to catch one, I would cast into the puddle. And so first you push F to catch it. Then there's a mini game where you have to spam A and D and keep the, the little bar in the middle. And so as you keep it in the middle, it gathers up points. And if you don't keep it in the middle for long enough in, a, in the amount of time you have, and I think that has to do with maybe your hook strength. If you don't keep it in for long enough, you lose the fish. He gets away. So that's pretty much the gist of fishing. There's not a lot to it. The bait can be kind of expensive when you first start off. So another reason why I would suggest catching fish that are, that are pretty good, because the fish can be kind of valuable. I mean, at this point, some of them are, are worth almost nothing now because people have kind of used them and moved on by, past them. But uh, you'll find that there's, there's some decent money to be made, especially if you focus on those pond sprites. So anyways, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll let you go. Again, this is Jem from the Goder Guild, and we're on the Snowpine server. So anybody interested, drop me a line. We have plenty of room for folks who are cool and want to hang out. And yeah, that, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh,